Okay, this is just a uh, quick preview video on some of these new uh, parts I got from Beta FPV. Posted some photos up on my Instagram, got a lot of questions about these. So I'm just going to show you these real quick. Uh, obviously no flight footage in this video. I uh, just got these yesterday. Uh, first off, the new all-in-one uh, flight controller and ESC combo. This one has the new 12 amp ESCs in here. I'll show you this here. Closer detail here in a second. Also got some new motors. Got these new... 1103 8000 kV motors and I'm just going to give you a quick look at them no screw holes on the top of these and just have a C-clip on top and on the bottom and yes, for press on props uh, one and a half millimeter motor shaft uh, these motor wires okay so these motor wires uh, looks like about 49 millimeters in length from the motor belt to the end of the plug the motor weighs about 3.8 grams. And if you throw all four of them on there, it's about 15.1 grams. And one last look at the motor, the magnets. Pretty smooth motor, doesn't a lot of have really no notching at all. M2 screw holes on the bottom, and I believe it's a uh, 8, uh, actually I'm not exactly sure, I think it's a standard 9mm hole pattern, I believe. Yeah, so these are the screws that are included for the mounting. I think these are definitely M2 screws. Okay, the other motor I got was these here. These are the uh, these are 0802s. Yeah, 0802, 19,500 kV. C-clip on the bottom and on top as well. One millimeter motor shaft. And here's a look at the windings on the top. And look at the bottom there. Very tight air gap for the magnets. A little bit of notching. Definitely more than on the Happy Model motors. So this is uh, competing with the Happy Model motors here. The um, uh, have these already installed on these. These are way to 19,500 kV. This is a pretty popular uh, kV and motor size. And yeah, I'm going to show you. Try kind of hard to show you the motor here, but with the camera will focus. Pretty similar. I think these are a little bit lighter than these. I'm not 100% sure what the weights are. Slightly higher KV. Same motor shaft. Um, very. This is also a pretty smooth motor. Not a lot of notching on this one either. Uh, but I'm going to show you the weight of this one coming in. Just about 2 grams. And four grams are, or four motors are coming in at 7.88 grams. So I'm actually going to be putting those motors on this guy here. I've been flying, this is actually a pretty stock UR65. And I've been flying these with the, also be it FPV motor. These are the 0802's uh, 17,500 kV on 1S with these Gemfan four bladed props. You know, it flies okay. It's not got, it doesn't have a ton of power. Uh, obviously the Happy Model motors at 19,000 kV definitely have more punch out um, and better handling in corners. But uh, the 17,500 is not bad on 1S. It, it definitely is flyable, especially indoors. Um, so if you're considering maybe getting a, a little bit slower motor for a little better, maybe for beginners, this is not a bad setup. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these motors out of here and put in the 19,500 kV motors and then we'll compare it to my other build here with the Happy Model 19,000 kV motors and see what the differences are. I think they're, they're probably going to be pretty similar but obviously we'll know until I fly it so that'll be in a future video so stay tuned for that one. Okay so now we're going to take a look at uh, the all-in-one ESC here. So this this one is very popular because a lot of you guys have been uh, burning out the crazy bee one here, I'll pull that out of here now. Need some side by sides here in a second. Uh, this has a 12 amp 4 in 1 EC in, on here instead of the 5 amp that's on the Crazy B. And you can see here that the, this is the bottom of the board where all the MOSFETs are. And you can see they're pretty large because they are 12 amps. But this is a flight controller, an F4 um, flight controller, which has got the, uh, the F411 chip there. Uh, Matek F411 target, MPU 6000 gyro, OSD uh, chip there. 
uh, 12-amp 4 one AC, but it's a BL Heli, BL Heli SEC, so it's D-Shot 600 only, not BL Heli 32. No receiver on board or video transmitter on board. It does come with through holes for the battery connection here, and this came pre-soldered on. This here is, I think, 18 gauge wire. Yeah, it's 18 gauge, probably overkill. Not sure if you really need 20 gauge wire is, might be fine. I'm not sure, but they already have this on here, so those of you guys have been burning your boards out by uh, not so not properly soldering on your uh, XT30s. It's already been done for you. At least it, it wasn't yeah, when it came in the box like this. So pretty sure that all of them will come like that. Um, yeah. So let's see how this look compares to the Crazy B. So the Crazy B has the also the F411 chip. Uh, this one here is the 2 to 3S version, has the built-in, this one has the built-in receiver, obviously it comes with a no a non-receiver version, this is a free sky version. Uh, also, uh, with through holes here on the newer version, I think this is a 2.0. And the MOSFETs, let's see, I think these are the MOSFETs, they're pretty tiny. On this side of the board, yes, yeah, so if you can compare the sizes of the 5 amp MOSFETs, on the le le right and the 12 amps on the left pretty significant difference in the size and let's compare the way the boards I, I believe the the bo this board without the XT30 is 5.6 grams and with the XT30 it's coming at 7.77 and there's the crazy B board 4.3 grams and then we'll just throw on the XT30 uh, coming in at 6.13, so yeah, definitely the Beta FPV board is heavier. Now this board is meant to replace um, this one here. This is the two-board system from the uh, the X series, or in this case, this is the 85X HD. So there's two boards in there for the flight controller and the ESC. But the ESC here is a 16 amp, four-in-one. And this one here, yeah, it's a 2 to 4S, 16 amp. And this one here is a BL, BL Heli 32, so it's a 32 bit ESD. And this one, up to 16 amps, although you know that the story in this one that it has the issues with the uh, ESC is catching fire on 4S, so now they're only recommending up to 3S in this one. Now, this one, uh, the new one on 12 amps is, is uh, supposedly 2 to 4S as well, but they have a chart on their products page where uh, they're saying that uh, for 4S, they're um, not supporting, I think, 1102, 03, and 04 motors. Only the 1105 at like 5,000 kV on 4S is supported because I think that all the other smaller motors are going to draw much higher amps uh, on 4S uh, than the 12 amps that are supported on this board. So we should keep that in mind. But again, let's just look at the weight again 7.8 for the newer 12 amp version. This is the older one, a 16 amps two board system, and it's about geez, it's 9.7 grams, about two grams heavier. Doesn't seem like it would be that much heavier, but yeah, yeah. I thought this would be even lighter than this, but this would be heavier, but yeah, it's only about two gram difference between these two. So I am gonna put this board into um, probably a toothpick style build. I actually have two of these. Um, one of them's gonna go into like a toothpick style build and uh, I'm going to use the 1103, uh, 11,000 kV Spedix motors on those on, on 3S and see how how, how uh, well these will handle that amperage. It should be absolutely a rocket ship on that. And then I'm probably going to do an, a whoop style build with um, something like this. Probably I'm going to use the Tomaquad's Whoopi HD XL frame and 2 inch props. Probably use these 1103 motors as well on that one on a 3S setup um, on a 2-inch prop, sort of a Cinewhoop. So that'll be two separate videos for those. So you want to stay tuned for those videos. Uh, I've um, got gonna have at least two of these in separate videos for this, along with um, the 1103 motor, so you guys can see how that performs. I may put the 1103 motor in a toothpick style build as well. I haven't decided yet. Um, we'll see uh, if you have Requests for that, let me know in the comments below. Also, um, regarding this board, um, yeah, if you guys have seen pictures of the Gep RC version of this board, it's essentially the same board as far as I can tell. You can, you can go online and look at the photos of both boards and you can see that they're 
the location of all the components and everything are the same. So the, the labeling here is different. It says Kip RC, same specs and everything. And also on the other side of the ESCs, the FETs look exactly the same as well. I can't see any differences. And uh, I know that there's been some debate out there whether someone's cloning someone else, but I'm pretty sure that both of these companies, BNF, PB, and GEPRC, are probably not manufacturing this component. They're actually probably contracted out to some other factory and just slapping their name on it. I don't have any, uh, I don't have any information to confirm that it's just my speculation on my part because that's a pretty common practice among a lot of the Chinese companies that they, they just contract out uh, designs to a kind of factory manufacturer and then uh, put their name on this. I think they call that OEMing or something like that. But anyway, you guys can debate that down in the comments below. But yeah, this is this is a very exciting board. Uh, should be able to handle a lot of abuse. It's just that this does not have a built-in receiver or a video transmitter. It's just the ESCs and the flight controllers. So should be should make for some good builds out there with um, bigger motors and also higher KV motors. So those of you guys that have those, um, I guess those hyperlight motors that are probably like 15,000 KV or something like that. The, that. That might work on this one. I don't have those motors and um, as far as I know, I don't think those are being sold anymore so I can't acquire them so I can't test them so I know there's going to be questions for people down be below and the questions are going to be asking me to test that and yeah, I don't have that and I don't have any plans to test that so I'm um, sorry. I'll, pass, I'll probably test some other motors but yeah, not that one so unfortunately so someone else will have to do that test for you. I'm sure Kebab FPV will do that, so if you go to his channel, I'm sure he'll have a video on that with the either the, this board or the Gip RC board. I'm sure that'll come up pretty soon. Anyway, you guys, that's going to do it for this video. You'll see some more videos on these components coming up soon, and I'll talk to you guys in the next one.